Well, good morning, everybody. Game time, Brian, otherwise known as the mailman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you people say in your comments. Some of you new subscribers. And shout out to the over 2,600 subscribers to Game Time Brian. We've been going at this for, in my mind, I literally started doing content. I took a concerted effort at the Hall of Fame last year. I was less, I was at around 100, around 100 subscribers. And my plan was to get to 300 by the um, Hall of Fame. Me and Mark went to the Hall of Fame. We got to that. We got to the 500. We got to the 1,000. Mark was right. The first 1,000 was the hardest. So, once that happens, it seems like YouTube is putting your stuff out there more. But, rise and grind, people. Let me get my sunglasses ready. The sun is once... It's going to come out today, but it's going to be a blistery, windy, balmy... Balmy. It's going to be in the 60s today. There it is. There it is. 60s today. I just set up the live stream for tonight, 8 o'clock Eastern, on Game Time Brian with my partner, Primetime Phil. The title of the live stream, I believe it's The Muppet Show is in town, and I got a picture of the two old Muppets that sit in the balcony. They're talking all the shit. And then I got a picture of Catboy on one side, looking like the one Muppet. And I got Jerry Jones on the other side, looking like the Muppet. So go check out the, the live stream that's on deck for tonight. Anyway, I threw it together quick. Come on, I'm not a primetime Phil. I'm not primetime, man. I don't... I'm, you know, he goes in the lab for hours. I don't have that kind of hours. To, I, Phil, I'm not saying you do, buddy. I'm just saying, you know, I woke up at 6.30. My allergies, just look at my eyes, people. It's horrible. I've never seen it so bad. I got a buddy who lives in Houston saying the same thing. The allergies this year, and I did hear why, because of the mild winter some bullshit. I don't know. But every night. Last night I fell asleep in my recliner. Then I went downstairs. I got a a warm rag and I just laid it over my eyes because my eyes were just I'm taking medicine. I'm on an antibiotic because I after I had the COVID, every time I get COVID it turns into some sinus infection. BS. So, as you still see I got that post-nasal I'm going to take one of these in a couple hours. It's a uh, antihistamine, yada, yada. But you can hear it. It's horrible. My eyes look like, they feel like leather. Leather face here. <sighs> but anyway, I don't know what my cowboys are doing. I'm not here to say that, do I have everything? Yeah, I have everything. I'm not here to say that what they're doing is wrong. Or what they're doing is right. What I'm telling you is, I don't understand it. There has to be a plan. You don't have this many talented players on the team and just not offer certain people any real money. There we go. Here it comes. Get ready for, we're getting ready to re enter the atmosphere as soon as the traffic goes by. Here we go, people. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm a little wired this morning. I love the sun though. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, yes. Warm me up, God. Warm me. Warm me. Anyway, I don't know what our team is doing, people. That's what it's. I'm not saying it's negative, but I, I have a buddy, okay? We'll, we'll leave him nameless, okay? We, we text. I met him through the channel. Right now, we'll leave him nameless. I don't want to keep throwing him out there because, you know, what if he's wrong, right? What if he's wrong? He likes to bring up pro football focus and analytics. The, analy the analytics department was all over this move yesterday. 
And I agree with this person. The analytics department was all over the Hankins. Believe it or not, the analytics department has Tyler Smith rated higher as a run stopper than Jonathan Hankins last year. Now, I find that hard to believe. You know, when you look at analytics, sometimes you look at pro football focus, and you'll see names on there that'll, whoa, this guy's rated that high, but he, the number of snaps, I don't know if there's a minimum number of reps, I don't know what's going on with that, but I find it hard to believe last year that Mozzie was rated higher than anybody. I mean, people act like Mozzie didn't do nothing. Mozzie did do something, but there has to be a plan in place, people. Mike Zimmer can't run his defense with non-big bodies in there. So I expect them to get one in the draft. Now, my guy here, who I've been talking to a lot lately, says Carl Davis. Carl Davis didn't do shit last year with the Cowboys. Nada. So I don't know if it's because of Mike Zimmer's scheme. Mike Zimmer's familiar with the player. Hankins did drop off, people. Let's not act like he didn't. Hankins wasn't the Hankins in the year before. But again... I wanted him back because what's our other option? Well, that's what I don't know. I'm not giving this team a pass. We got a couple of Muppets running the show is what's going on. The freaking Muppets. Now, you telling me that Jimmy Johnson told Jerry to let this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy go? I don't think those conversations ever, ever got... I don't think those conversations ever got that deep. But I don't know. I'm in the audience with you guys watching the Muppet Show. We're we're, like, we're sitting there. It's laughable, but a lot of dumb shit comes out of those Muppets. Sorry. They're in their own world, right? So, I don't know the rhyme or reason why Hankins is gone. I got news for you. By the way, they're hand- I called that they would hate... There would be a decision on Gilmore by Friday. Now, we're sitting here at Hump Day. Hump Day on Wednesday. So, we got two days. I think by Friday, we'll know what's going on with Gilmore. He wants to come back, people. He wants to come back to Dallas. His best friend, Brandon Cooks, is on the team. It makes a lot of sense to bring him back. I'm I'm sure Dallas wants him back, but not at the money he's he's going to get elsewhere. So... I would think because of this person's leadership far exceeds Jonathan Hankins' leadership. Jonathan Hankins wasn't a leader on this team. Gilmore came in and was instantly a leader. We need Gilmore back. So if we let Gilmore walk, sorry, this this person also says, well, because we signed Jordan Lewis, Jordan Lewis can't stay healthy, okay? And he's mini-me. I don't mind mini-me. He made a good play in that Detroit game. He did. And he was coming off of that Liz Frank. Love Jordan Lewis as an extra guy. Nickel guy. But, hold on. Sorry, I just sneezed. Not good, people. I'm sneezing. Uh, Where was I? That's what I was saying. We cannot assume that Trayvon is coming back. I'm going to hit the ground running. Trayvon's coming back from an ACL. Just like DeMarvian Overshone. We we do not want to have to rely on Trayvon early on. Yeah, he's going to play, but to throw him out there on an island coming back from an ACL is not smart. You need Gilmore back, Muppets. Muppets, you need Gilmore back. So, we'll see about that. My hunch tells me that he's coming back my spider sense, but this offseason has been so ass backwards, all in, if, if the owner never said all in, we would have been, I would be fine right now, because we never do anything, the all in totally screwed me up, I can tell you that, totally screwed me up, let me get a swig of this, I'm not getting any, like I need a swig of my, can you see it, can you see it, yeah, there you go, there it is.
So, very, 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 very confused. I'm curious to talk to my man, Primetime Phil, tonight at 8. Um, no news on the Hassan Reddick thing. Uh, I, they're working on a deal slash trade. Um, I think what might happen, because nobody's getting... I was listening to Philly 500. Shout out to Philly 500. We definitely got to get together, man, before the season. But, that being said... Nobody's giving you a second or a third round pick for Hassan Reddick. Not happening. Not happening. You see what... People aren't going to do that and then have to pay the guy. You'll get a fifth at best, in my opinion. Maybe a fourth. Maybe a fourth. Maybe a fourth. That's it. You ain't getting a third round pick for Hassan Reddick. If I were the Eagles, I would keep Reddick on a one-year deal. Give him a lot of money. Give him his 16 mil. Add a void year so you can spread. I don't know. I don't know that you could do that. Make it a couple year deal on paper, but really a one year deal type of deal. Type of deal. You know what I mean. I don't know if you're bring. I mean. Because here's the, here's the deal. If Eagles do not bring back Hassan Reddick, they're going to have to. They're going to have to draft Huff aside. They're going to have to draft a defensive end. Probably in the first round. And that would probably be the best move for them anyway. I think they need a corner. I think you need to go young in the first round. And this circles back to the Dallas Cowboys before I get to work. Because I'm making good time. My fear is and always will be that they are now going into the draft not drafting best player available. That draft where we got CD and Micah not there were different drafts, but like those type of drafts, Zach Martin, where we wanted Ryan Shazier, um, those drafts, that's not going to be this year. We're going to skip receivers in the first round to take a player, most likely. Now, free agency is not done. There's still a lot of offensive linemen out there. There's still linebackers. There's still D tackles. There's a lot we could still do, people. And I think we will address. You'll be surprised. You'll be like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. You cannot go into the draft the way it sits because you just, you're putting yourselves behind the eight ball to take for need. Now, I listen, I'm all on board. If, if need is close to everything else, yeah, I can't wait in this shit. If need is close to everything else, on a turn. Um, if need is close best available, then it's not a big deal, but I don't know that that's going to be the case. Honestly, I don't know that that's going to be the case. So that's my biggest fear, is the Cowboys drafted. Okay, first round. I'm, I'm hearing rumors that the pen, they're going to decide Tyler Smith's fate on who's there in the first round. If an offensive tackle, a left tackle is there that they feel strongly about, then they're leaving them at guard. If not, and they got to take a center or a guard, most likely a center, then he's then he's playing left tackle. That's not a way to run a business. But again, he was drafted to play left tackle. So again, the word for this offseason is I'm confused. Confusion or haze. There's a haze because I don't understand what the F this team is doing. So, but anyway, I'm here. Uh, don't forget, 2 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Eastern, my lunchtime chat, live from the mail truck. Now, it may be 2.15, depending on what I got going on, but most likely it'll be 2 o'clock. Live from the mail truck, where I take all your, where I take all your questions, okay? Um, but we need to come up with a, a word for this offseason thus far. And put it in the comments. What are you making the Cowboys the offseason thus far? Lukewarm. Haze. Split pea soup. I don't know. I don't like split pea soup. So, anyway. Anyway, I gotta go. Game time, Brian. Otherwise known as the mailman. Very confused with this team, people. But that doesn't mean anything right now, because we still got over a month to go before the draft. We need to get our act together. 
I got to think of a title for this video because I was all over the place. But, all right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Two o'clock. Late.